Well, we are turning back time to the 80s and cutting loose for the new version of Tyler Civic Theater's performance of Footloose. Oh, we're all excited about this. KTK's Tori Bean invites you to kick off your Sunday shoes as she gives you a behind the scenes look at this musical. Welcome to Beaumont. We are headed to the small town of Beaumont where dancing has been outlawed and Tyler Civic Theater takes audiences on the journey of the boy ready to change the rules. It's mostly about growing and learning to overcome past traumas and interactions that have harmed people and it's really encouraging and uplifting. This isn't the first time Footloose has been performed at Tyler Civic. In fact, it's the 10th anniversary of the original show and was brought back as a fan favorite for the community theater's 75th anniversary. I got to direct this show 10 years ago in my first ever directing efforts. Stephen Rainwater, the director of the production, wanted to make sure every person that walked through the doors was transported back to his favorite time period, the 1980s. It is a party. You see our lights, you see the sound, you see the performers. We have 48 performers in the show giving their all. Harrison Perkins, who plays Cowboy Bob, is one of those 48 performers and says he loved getting to meet everyone in the cast. It's really cool how you see from the first day to the last day, a lot of people coming together and starting to look a little bit more like a family. Making things a little extra special, six of the original cast members are returning, 10 local high school and colleges are represented, and actual families are acting together on the stage. I was blessed to play this role 10 years ago. Jenny Jo Harris is revising her role as Vi Moore and is playing mother to her real life daughter in the show. Adding to the family fun, her son also plays a part. This is the first time that we've been in a full blown production together, the three of us, and it's been incredibly special. When asked what their favorite part of the show was, Julia Watkins, a member of the ensemble and Perkins had a hard time choosing. I think the beginning, the opening scene is my favorite. That hat. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> yeah. Adding it to show, they'll have you leaving the theater singing all the hits of the 80s. Tori Bean, K2K News. Well, Friday is opening night. You can catch a performance Thursday through Saturday at 7.30 in the evening and Sunday at 2.30 in the afternoon. The final performance is August 6th.